Economic power. China can set prices. In 2010, China temporarily restricted rare earth exports. Prices spiked 10x overnight. The world panicked. China made the point. You need us. We don't need you. Military power. Every advanced weapon system requires rare earths. The U.S. military is entirely dependent on Chinese rare earth supply. If China cuts us off, we can't build F-35s. We can't build missiles. We can't maintain our fleet. The Pentagon knows this. They've called it a strategic vulnerability. And there's no short-term solution. Political power. China can use rare earth access as leverage. Want rare earths? Align with us. Don't sanction us. Don't support Taiwan. Or we cut you off. And your economy collapses. That's the power of monopoly control. And China has it. Let's be clear about the dependency. The U.S. imports 80% of its rare earths from China. Europe imports over 90%. Japan imports nearly 100%. There are no substitutes. You cannot make EV motors without neodymium. You cannot make smartphone screens without europium and terbium. The technology requires these specific elements. There are other deposits of rare earths. Australia, Canada, the U.S. have reserves. But mining takes years to develop. Processing facilities take a decade to build. And even if we started today, we'd be a decade behind. In the meantime, we're dependent, and China knows it. In 2019, during U.S. to China trade tensions, Chinese state media openly threatened to cut off rare earth exports. The message was clear. You need us more than we need you. Back off. The U.S. backed off. Now let's look at the pattern. Because all four examples, Britain's coal, America's oil, OPEC's oil, China's rare earths, follow the same six-stage progression. Stage one, resource discovery. Someone discovers that a material is essential for the next phase of civilization. Coal-powered industrialization. Oil-powered transportation and modern warfare. Rare earths power digital technology and green energy. At this stage, the resource is known but not yet strategic. Stage two, infrastructure development. One nation builds the infrastructure to extract, process, and use the resource at scale. Britain built coal mines, railroads, and steam engines. America built oil wells, refineries, and highways. China built rare earth mines and processing facilities. This stage takes decades. It requires investment, expertise, and long-term planning. And whoever builds the infrastructure first gains the advantage. Stage three, monopoly establishment. One nation or group controls the majority of supply. Not necessarily 100%, but enough to set prices and dictate terms. Britain controlled 50% plus of coal in the 1800s. America controlled 50% plus of oil in the 1940s, shut in 50s. OPEC controlled 40% plus of oil in the 1970s. China controls 90% plus of rare earth processing today. 